was in New York, did some media and some press. Tickets went on sale today uh, for my fight coming up with Fedor. We're going to fight at the Nassau Coliseum in Long Island, New York. So I got to New York, and uh, we did some media. We made the rounds. Fedor was there. I never did anything with him face-to-face. Like, we didn't do face-offs or something like that for for posters or commercials or anything like that. But I did see him. I ran into him. Seemed like a pers- uh, perfectly nice guy. I don't know him. He doesn't speak much English. I threw out a hello. I think he said hello back. He made a noise and kind of made a smile. I took it as a nice gesture. That was really the extent of my exchanges with him. So I finished that up. That was about three days. Uh, so that was in New York. Got a car, drove to Bristol, Connecticut to confront Errol Hawani face to face, who was, was, he was quite a gentleman, I must say, which is exactly what I thought was going to happen, which was a good thing. Went from there to the airport, flew to Dallas, got laid over, flew into Portland, got here about 3 a.m., grabbed about three, four hours of sleep, came down to the studio, and then I got to go back to the airport. I'm headed to California for a wedding. So I, I'm on a bit of a grind this week. That's what I have been up to. Uh, but I did keep up on the MMA news. And, you know, the biggest news was Connor. Connor went in to New York. And had his hearing, got that all resolved. His, you know, I call it a settlement hearing, his sentencing. The final one, he won't have to go back. And he walked out of there. I think he got some anger management I read. I didn't read that there was community service. That was kind of expected that there'd be some community services and fines. I trust if I went and read closer that that's part of it, but I don't know. I just read that there was some anger management. Uh, So in the world of MMA and him moving on in his career, that was great. That was great news. That was a slam dunk and a home run. The other side of it, which you can't help but feel, you go, my goodness. No wonder New York's the most crime-ridden city in America. You can break into a building. You can premeditatedly do an assault with a weapon. You can send three people to the hospital. And apparently, you can move on with your day. I think that that's an interesting storyline. That uh, I'm sure more than more people than just just me will uh, will will take a second glance at. But either way, as far as Connor goes, he's done. I believe he's fighting Khabib on December sixth. I was told the date. Now I forgot. I think it's December sixth in Las Vegas. I think that's what I heard. So, uh, you know, until that officially comes out, until they have their contracts and the big press release, I, I guess. You know, how do you guys like to act? Like, like we don't know that they're going to fight? I mean, it seems everywhere I go, even doing my own media, I get asked about Khabib. And some of it, when I was doing it, because I'm getting ready to fight a Russian, and Khabib is a Russian, and that was kind of how they tied it all together. But it's like, guys, you can go ahead and say it. That's just a fun fight, and we're all looking forward to it. It's a fight that needs to happen for that division. But it does feel a little bit as though the media is so behind on this one. I mean, I keep hearing questions about, will these guys fight? Are you kidding me? Will they fight? I'm told they're going to fight December 6th in Las Vegas, but take that off the day. Yes, they're going to fight. I remember we were on this show for at least two months announcing Conor versus Floyd. Without question, Conor and Floyd are going to fight. Conor said he was going to fight Floyd, and Floyd said he was going to fight Conor. Therefore, they're going to fight. The biggest draw in boxing versus the biggest draw in mixed martial arts. The hardest part is getting the guys to the table. They told us they're at the table. I'd watch the news day after day after day speculating. Are these guys going to fight? What do you think? Well, you know, I don't think so. And you know, Connor hasn't done this. And, you know, Floyd said he was retired. I think it's just talking hype. What are you talking about? Both guys said they were going to fight. Yes, they're going to fight. Announce the fight. That's kind of where we're at with this Connor Khabib thing. I guess we can make believe or hold our breaths or, or, or do our part to use that old schoolyard mentality, oh, I don't think you'll do it, as a way of trying to get the guys to do it. But it, it appears to be childish and transparent to me. Yes, Connor and Khabib are going to fight. That's not breaking. I'm not breaking news now. You guys should have known that last week and the week before that and the month before that. It may be breaking news to, for you that it's, I believe, going to be December 6th. But whatever. They're going to fight. And that's a great match. I'm looking forward to that. 